get ready to go. We're glad that you're all here, so now it's time to start the show. We're not in school, but we can still pretend by making music until this ends. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Hey there, Falcons. Guys, this week we got some brand new songs to sing. We have something really fun to listen to and a nice little activity at the end. So, enough talking about it. Tired of talking about music, why don't we just get right to it and make some music? We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, fourth grade, got a brand new song for today that actually is perfect if you have a group of people. Maybe you have like brothers and sisters, maybe you have moms and dads at your house. You can play a game with this song, it's actually quite fun. But first we're gonna learn the song. The song is called Circle Around the Zero. Now maybe you've ever seen a circle, you've noticed that maybe sometimes a circle looks like a zero. Well, they're about the same thing. They have a little bit different shape, but they're mostly the same. So I have a song called Circle Around the Zero. It goes like this. Circle around the zero, find your love in zero. Back, back, zero. Side, side, zero. Front, front, zero. Now tap your love in zero. Pretty simple song. Listen again. Circle around the zero, find your love in zero. Back, back, zero. Side, side, zero. Front, front, zero. Now tap your love in zero. I'll sing this time, you go back. Circle around the zero. Find your love in zero. Back, back, zero. Side, side, zero. Front, front, zero. Now tap your love in zero. Good. A little out of tune there. That's better. All right, here we go. Sing the whole song with me, ready? Here we go. Circle round zero, find your love in zero. Back, back, zero. Side, side, zero. Front, front, zero. Now tap your love in zero. Good. Now, to play this game, it's actually pretty easy, but what you need is an even number of people. Two people. Four, well, you actually can't have two, you need at least four people, okay? Four people, six people, eight people, ten people. I don't know. Maybe you're going to get together for a family picnic soon. I don't know, but here's something funny you can do with it, okay? You have a circle of people, an even number of people. Everybody in that circle is partnered with the person next to them. So two people, and then two people, and then two people, and two, and then two, however many, okay? The first part, circle around the zero. The circle literally walks, okay? Your circle moves. You are moving in a circle, okay? You've done that before. Your circle is moving around. Circle around the zero. Find your love in zero. You find your partner and you point at them. They point at you, you point at them. Circle around the zero. Find your love in zero. Now, here's where you get to move a little bit. Back, back, zero. You and your partner are facing each other, but when you sing back, back, you turn back to back. All partners in the circle do that. Turn back to back. Back, back, zero. Side, side, you turn, and now you're facing with shoulder to shoulder. Back, back, zero. Side, side, zero. Front, front, zero. Okay? Now here's the tricky part. Now tap your love in zero. You give them a double high five, and then you turn and face away from them. Now tap your love in zero. After you turn away from them, because everybody's in a circle and we're all turning away from your partners, you're gonna actually be facing somebody new. And guess what? That is your new partner, okay? So let's go over that again. You're in a circle. This, you can actually, you can teach this to people. It's a lot of fun to play, okay? In a big circle, right? You have a partner. First thing, you're all walking around the circle. You're moving the circle around, okay? Circle around the zero. Find your love in zero, you point your partner. Back, back, zero, back to back. Side, side, zero, shoulder, shoulder. Front, front, zero, face each other. Now tap, high five, your love in zero. You turn and face away, and when you face away, you are facing a new partner who has just turned away from their partner. And then with your new partner, you can repeat this song until you get through everybody and pet all different partners, okay? So have some fun with this song, get outside, make some music, and most importantly, have some fun. We're making music with our Falcon friends.
Islands. All right, fourth grade, heading back up to Canada, to Quebec, for our song that I really enjoy singing, Donkey Riding. Let's review how it goes. Were you ever in Quebec, stowing timber on the deck, where there's a king with a golden crown riding on a donkey? Hey ho, away we go, donkey riding, donkey riding. Hey ho, away we go, riding on a donkey. Great, so you can keep a steady beat this time, right in your lap, here we go. Were you ever in Quebec, stowing timber on the deck? When there's a king with a golden crown riding on a donkey. Hey ho, away we go, donkey riding, donkey riding. Hey ho, away we go, riding on a donkey. Great. Last week we did a little ostinato with our hands, and it was a very simple pattern. It was this. ta di ta di ta 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 di ta di ta Do it with me. ta di ta di ta 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 di ta di ta ta Keep going. Keep doing that. Were you ever in Quebec, stowing timber on the deck, when there's a king with a golden crown riding on a donkey? Hey ho, away we go, donkey riding, donkey riding. Hey ho, away we go, riding on a donkey. That ostinato is really cool because it actually matches up perfectly with riding on a donkey. It's kind of that the whole time throughout, okay? This time, can you clap the ostinato while you sing with me? This is tricky. Here we go. Let's start the ostinato first. Here we go. Were you ever in Quebec, stowing timber on the deck, when there's a king with a golden crown riding on a donkey? Hey ho, away we go. Donkey riding, donkey riding, hey ho, away we go, riding on a donkey. How'd it go? Hopefully it went pretty well. Now, I have some questions for you. This song is very interesting. It has some tricky parts to it. I have a question. In the first phrase, how many beats are there? Listen. Were you ever in Quebec, stowing timber on the deck? Hmm, pretty many beats. Keep a beat and see if you can figure out how many are in that first phrase. How many beats do we keep? Were you ever in Quebec, stowing timber on the deck? Let me take the words away, just sing on Lou. How many beats are there? Lou, 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 Lou. How many beats did you count? Eight. Eight beats total. Okay, now, listen very carefully. See if you can pick out. There are two beats in this phrase that have one sound. Can you tell me the two beats that have only one sound? Tell me which beats those are. Listen. Lou, 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 lou. Which beats have just one sound? Lou, 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 lou. Well, did you hear? How about you? Yes, the last one definitely has just one sound. How about the other one that has just one sound? Listen again. Lou, 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 lou. The fourth beat, right. The fourth beat's got one sound, and the last beat's got one sound. Okay, let's go back to the beginning for a second. How many sounds are on the first beat? Listen very carefully. Lou, 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 lou. Lou, 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 lou. Just the first four beats. Lou, 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 lou. How many sounds are on that first beat? Well, it's not one. We already said the fourth and the last one do. The first one is that one. It actually has two sounds. Yes. Hmm. Two sounds on the first beat. But something very interesting about those two sounds. Are they equal? Are they like the same? Lou, lou. Doesn't sound like it. How would you describe those sounds? How long are they? Sounds like the first sound on that beat is long, right? First sound's long. What about the second sound? For second sound certainly doesn't sound long. It sounds like it's short. Hmm. Two sounds in a beat that aren't equal. The first one's long and the second one's short. Hmm. Could we sing that phrase using long, short, for the first beat and rhythms for the rest, toddies and ta. See if you can do it. Listen. Long, short, toddy, toddy, ta, 
ta dee ta dee ta dee ta Try it with me. Long, short, ta dee ta dee ta ta dee ta dee ta dee ta So again, keep a steady beat. Long, short, ta dee ta dee ta ta dee ta dee ta dee ta You know, we've had a long sound followed by a short sound, but that wasn't on one beat, that was on two beats. This is different. This is two sounds, long, short, on just one beat. It's a brand new rhythm, one we've never heard before. Hmm. This time, can we sing it and can we clap it? Long, short, ta dee ta dee ta ta dee ta dee ta dee ta A tricky rhythm, a very tricky rhythm. But we're going to talk a little bit more about next week. In fact, next week we're going to make a picture of it. But for this week, we're going to move on and we're going to listen to a great piece of music coming up next. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All righty, fourth grade. Now, we're going to listen to a piece of music today that, well... It's probably one that you're very familiar with. It's probably one that you've heard, maybe from the time you were just a little baby. Okay, this is a very famous piece of music. London Bridge. London Bridge. Now, we're not going to listen to, like, little baby version of London Bridge, okay? I know, you're in fourth grade. In fact, some of you might be in band. Some of you might even play a band instrument. Clarinet, trumpet, trombone, flute. I don't know. You might play an instrument, and that's great if you do, because... This version of London Bridge is actually by a jazz artist, Count Basie and his orchestra. Count Basie was a jazz musician. And Count Basie did a version, a jazz version of London Bridge. And it makes it completely different. It makes it like you kind of want to dance to it, if you can believe that. Think about a song from your childhood that you sang when you were just a little baby. And then think about someone making it so cool, so different and so modern that you can't help but move to it, okay? So, I want you to click the, descript the link in the description below. Listen to Count Basie's jazz version of London Bridge and enjoy. fourth grade. Last week, we were talking about our pentachord. We talking about our la pentachord, where la was the lowest one. We were talking about this. La, ti, do, re, mi. The other way. Mi, re, do, ti, la. Our la pentachord. And I showed you last week on our keyboard, I showed you on our keyboard here, what would happen if we started on a certain note? Well, said last week that, uh, no, here we go. If we start on D, E, F, G, A, that works pretty well. Because remember, pentachords are made up of major steps and minor steps. La, T is a major step. Guess what? That's a major step. D and E is a major step because we're skipping this key right here. T, Do is a minor step. Those are close together. Minor is closer together. And this is perfect because E and F, they're right next to each other. Nothing in between. And the rest of them are also Do, Re is a major step. Got the key there. Re to Mi is a major step. Got the key there. And that works perfectly. It works perfectly. But there are spots where it's not going to work. Now, let's rewind for a second. Let's rewind. Let's rewind. Let's go back earlier this year. We have another pentachord. A do pentachord. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Those five in a row. Can we sing those? Do, re, mi, fa, so. We said that if do is C, that actually works perfectly, again, because of the major steps and the minor steps. Do to re is a major step. It's a major step. Re to mi is a major step. It's a major step. Mi to fa is the minor step. And E and F, we already said, is a minor step. Fa to so, major step. Perfect. Okay. But then we had a little problem earlier this year. We said, what if we move it? Because remember, our solfaging can go anywhere we want them to go. Let's say that do is F. F, G, A, B, C. Do, re, mi, 
Fa. So we got a problem because me and Fa is the minor step. And A and B, well, that's not A minor step, but what did we say we could do? What if we changed B to the key below it? And that's exactly what we did. If we move that to here, it's no longer B. It's a new note called B flat. It is B flat that moves it and actually solves all of our problems. Because if B is B flat, A to B flat is a minor step. And then B flat to C is a major step. And that's perfect, OK? Now, let's fast forward. Back to present times. Hello, welcome back. It's 2021, or it's whatever year it is you're watching this. I don't even know. Maybe you're watching this far in the future. Hopefully you are. Maybe you're not. I don't know. What am I talking about? Let's get back to music, shall we? Guys, we got a problem. Let's say that our La pen chord starts on E. E, F, G, A, B. Well, guess what? We got a problem, like our last problem that we just had. La, T, Do, Re, Mi. La, La, T, Do, Re, Mi. Got a problem. La to T is supposed to be a major step. That's not a major step. That's a problem. T to Do is supposed to be a minor step. F and G, that's not a, that's not a minor step. We got a problem. What if... We could move that note, F, to that key there. That might solve our problems. In fact, it would solve our problems because, look, that would mean that this key to this key, that's a major step. It should be. This key to this key would be a minor step, and it should be. We can add a symbol to make a note go up. Just like a flat makes a note go down, we have a new symbol that makes it go up. It's called a sharp. Let me write it here. F sharp. A sharp looks like this. That's a sharp. When a note has a sharp after it, it's actually a half step higher. It's a minor step higher. It makes the notes work perfectly then on here. E, F sharp, G, A, B. Just like that. By moving that note, it makes it work perfectly. And that's what you have to do in music sometimes. Sometimes you have to move notes to make them the way you want them to sound. Now, what does this look like on our staff? Well, I'm so glad you asked. I am. I'm so glad you asked that I almost lost my marker. Okay, here we go. We've got, whew, makes me excited. E on the first line, if you remember back to recorders last year. We've got E, then we've got F in the first space, then we've got G on the second line, then we've got A in the second space, and we've got B up here on the third line. E, F, G, A, B. But F is no longer F. It's actually F sharp. So I'm going to put that little sharp symbol, looks like this, right in front of the note. Take a look. Now it's not F, it's F sharp. And F sharp is higher than F, which makes this a major step, and it makes this a minor step. Pen chords, all about the major steps and the minor steps. If you ever see a sharp in music, what that means is that note is actually higher than it would normally be if it didn't have that sharp. Just like a flat does the opposite. It makes it go lower, okay? So there you go. Next week, we're going to have a chance to actually write out some of this music. So get ready. But until then, have some fun. We're naked. All right, guys, listen, next week you're going to need something because we're going to make an instrument out of them, okay? You're going to need five, count them, one, two, three, four, five bottles, okay? They can be plastic water bottles. They can be soda bottles. They can be glass bottles. It doesn't matter, but they have to all be the same. That's really, really important, okay? So five bottles, soda, water, plastic, glass, doesn't matter, but they all have to be the same type, okay? So try to collect those throughout the week. Okay, because next week we're going to take those five bottles and we're going to make an instrument that I think you're really going to have some fun with. All right? So collect them, and next week we'll make some music with them. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Well, we sure had fun this week, didn't we? So, until next time...
Foster.